Research professionals have been planning a prescribed burn in the upper Reynolds Creek area with local ranchers for more than 20 years. The USDA Agricultural Research Service has been tracking hydrology and rangeland trends in the Reynolds Creek Experimental Watershed since 1960. Local ranchers own the majority of the land in Johnson Draw, the location of the burn project. ARS partnered with the Bureau of Land Management, which had the manpower, equipment, and expertise to plan and implement the 2,300-acre prescribed burn. In early October, the BLM had perfect weather conditions for implementing a successful burn project in Johnson Draw. A key objective was to jumpstart the renewal of aging and decadent vegetation with a moderate prescribed burn. They also wanted to learn how the cutting of juniper trees in Johnson Draw would affect stream flow in Reynolds Creek. All told, more than 10 research studies are underway to learn how the prescribed fire influences native plants, wildlife habitat, soils, water quality, and more. On day one, following several days of cool, wet weather, BLM crews ignited a black line around the perimeter of the burn area. BLM burn boss Lance Okeson explained the strategy. Test fire here. Oh yeah. And work work apart. Work it that way. Like this. And then we'll then we'll just keep coming around. Oh nice. Like okay. this. We're in our window and uh, we got the resources here. Yeah, everything's a go. Okeson cautioned the crews to pay close attention when igniting vegetation, even though it had rained earlier in the week. Uh, don't let the last little wet thing fool you. These fuels are heavy and it's steep country in there. Uh, real complex terrain and the fuels are probably about as heavy as you're going to ever see in the sagebrush step. The BLM had more than 60 firefighters on hand, plus nine fire engines, two dozers, and a Type 1 helicopter for igniting and managing the fire. Working to establish the black line around the edges of the prescribed burn, the vegetation caught fire but burned slowly on day one. That made things very manageable for fire crews around the perimeter of the burn zone. On day two, fire crews worked on burning the inside of the fire perimeter. The BLM started fires by dropping ignitable ping pong balls from a helicopter in the top of Johnson Draw, and ground crews ignited vegetation at the bottom of the canyon. The plan was to have the fires burn together. Time-lapse video from the Agricultural Research Service shows the prescribed burn in Johnson Draw from afar. Conditions were drier on day two and the vegetation burned more readily. Things are burning pretty good, it's going real well, yeah. We're right on target, yeah. Juniper cutting projects added fuel to the landscape. The brownish blonde dead juniper needles can be seen amid the sagebrush as the helicopter flies overhead. The BLM finished up the burn after three days. A rainstorm snuffed out the hot spots the following week. Follow-up satellite imagery shows that about 80% of the area burned. Private landowners are anxious to see how vegetation bounces back after the prescribed burn. I've been looking for it for years. The benefits uh, are setting the natural stages as a uh, plant serial stages back to, to zero again and start fresh again. I think it's a great deal. Uh, when we first, 2015, when we saw the soda fire, we were kind of shocked and awed and didn't know what to think about fire, but afterwards the effects of that fire have proven that it just rejuvenated that rangeland. Everywhere we go, it's the grass, the feed, the shrubs, everything are coming back healthier, I believe. Uh, got the old stuff out of the way and new, new life to the range. ARS officials say it will be at least a year before we see the results of research studies related to the prescribed burn project. 23 researchers are involved from ARS, Boise State University, Idaho State University, Oregon State, the University of Cambridge, and the University of Texas, El Paso. Life on the Range will do a follow-up story when the results are ready.